everyone. Welcome to ABC Interactive English. I'm Mike. I'm Rainbow. And it's part two of our look at Nathan's hot dog eating contest. Nathan's famous hot dog eating contest. The most famous eating contest in the world, but not the only one. I've seen a few others What online. What do they eat? Almost anything. It's sort of like the local specialty. Okay. So if you go to the south, you might be eating, you know, a lot of shrimp or gumbo. If you go to California, you might be eating oysters in San Francisco, or you know, a lot of them are either eat a lot in a short amount of time, like Nathan's hot dog, or eat spicy stuff, like really <coughs> spicy stuff. And who can eat the most spicy stuff wins. So it's either a lot of food or really hot food. That's the challenge. That's the contest. I've only seen one here in Taiwan. It was actually not America's birthday. It was Canada's birthday. No way! What did they eat? Was it poutine? Poutine, of course. They're eating French fries covered with gravy、Woo. and cheese. Very good to eat in person. You watched this、I、in person. I saw it live. Wow! I was waiting to play music, and、wow. on the stage they had the contest.、This、was guy, it gross? Well, it was. Canada Day is July first. Okay. July first in Canada is nice. Warm, comfortable. Yes. July first in Taiwan is really <laughs> hot, and eating hot cheese, <laughs> meaty gravy, <laughs> and French fries <laughs> when it's thirty-nine degrees, <laughs> not so good. Was there air conditioning? No, was it, it was outside. Oh no. my god! So I think the winner had like eight small bowls. Okay. Like that, but I think if it was cooler. He might have been able to eat more, but still, it was pretty good. And the other people, two, three, how many minutes? Five, about five minutes. Very short. Wow.、Time. Yeah. So they do have them, but if you want to go to the most famous, head to Nathan's, head to Coney Island. That's where we're heading now. The contest is from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Both men and women take part. They try to eat as many hot dogs as they can in ten minutes. The contestants must eat not only the hot dogs but also the buns. So, they have water on hand to help the food slide down their throats. Right, Nathan's hot dog eating contest part two. We kind of know where it is, when it is, what it's all about. But let's say you're actually there on at Coney Island on the Fourth of July, or maybe watching it on TV with millions around the world. What would you see? What would happen on the big day?、Mm, okay, so. The contest is from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Oh, lunchtime. Yeah, lunchtime. it's only two hours. Okay. Both men and women take part. Oh, interesting. They try to eat as many hot dogs as they can in ten minutes. Now, ten minutes seems short, but when you're trying to eat that many hot dogs, it's a lot of minutes. Hmm. Yeah, and if you're eating really fast, you could probably eat a lot of hot dogs. But then again, if you're eating a lot for ten whole minutes, that might feel like a really long time. Yeah, and everybody can take part. Well,、mm. maybe not very small children. No. But men and women can both take part.、Mm. Take part means to join. So if I say. This contest is for everyone. Everyone can take part. That means I can be a part of this contest, and I can be one of the people competing. That's right. You're joining in. You're、mm -hmm. in the action. You're not just watching or something like that. It says the contestants. These are the people. In the competition, kind of like the players in a game, the contestants must eat not only the hot dogs but also the buns. That's、right? very、Because、filling. A hot dog really should be the dog, the sausage, the wiener, 
and the bun. You don't just eat the meat and throw away the bread, or in this case, the bread、bun. in the form of a bun. What is a bun? It's basically just a small, single serving of bread for one person. You can talk about bread, which you will then cut into pieces or slices. To make a sandwich, but a bun will be much smaller. If I cut it, it might just be for me. We cut certain buns that are round in half and make them into hamburgers. We might have an even smaller bun that you just break and eat with your hands while you're having your food, or it could be a long bun like you have for a hot dog or for a submarine, like a Subway's kind of submarine. Sandwich. Those will have long buns, but they're always made of bread. They're always smaller than a full loaf of bread, but they're tasty. All right. So then, so you might wonder how do they eat all these very dry hot dogs?、Yeah. Because you know your throat gets dry. You、True. can't swallow. You're、True. trying to stuff them down your throat. You're gonna waste a lot of time drinking as fast as possible. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So. They have water on hand to help the food slide down their throats.、Yeah. So you'd see them dipping it in water.、Yeah. So that makes it kind of like a soupy feeling.、Yeah. And they are not chewing, and、yeah. they are swallowing whole. So sliding down. It's the action. It's kind of like going on a slide. So sliding down your throat is the action of. Going in there and going inside. Basically, you are not chewing at all. It's just sliding down your throat smoothly because you don't have the time. Well, they are actually chewing a little bit, but with everything being wet, it's much easier for it to slide. <laughs> but they're not like snakes. You don't see the hot dogs going down one by one. But of course, when you're eating something, when you're drinking something, when you do that gulp. And you move the food from your mouth down to your stomach. It has to go through this part of your body, and that is your throat. throat. It could also be your neck, but the neck is the whole area around here. Your throat is just the front area, that very、um, delicate area where your food goes down and where you do your breathing as well. Speaking. Speaking as well. So the air comes out of your body, and the food goes into your body. Through your throat, which is at the front part of your neck, right here. So yes, you'll see these people just dipping it and throwing it down, and one after another after another for ten minutes. How many can they eat in ten minutes? We'll find out after the break. It's a lot. <laughs> The 2021 men's winner has the record with 76 hot dogs. The same is true for the 2020 women's winner with 48.5. Nathan's hot dog eating contest is a must-see on the 4th of July. Okay, so I wonder what the record is for the men and the women. I mean, take a guess. I would have thought maybe forty-five hot dogs was a lot, but、mm -hmm. it seems like in ten minutes people can do even better than that. Well, forty-five is a lot in yeah. ten minutes,、yeah. and that might have been a, a winner ten、uh, or twenty years、yeah. ago. But the people doing it now have gone way past that forty-five number. It says the twenty twenty one men's winner has the record with seventy six hot dogs. Oh my goodness! In ten minutes. I wonder how old he was. Seventy、so、six in ten minutes. So that's like more than six a minute. So that's. Kind of less than ten seconds per hot dog. That's amazing.、They're、eating them very, very quickly, and this is what the winner got a couple of years ago. They had the contest last year. Maybe they only got seventy-three or seventy-five. Seventy-six is the maximum top number ever in history. We'll talk about that in a second. But yeah, if you get a high score or do really well in、you、a contest, in a game, in a competition, and you end up being number one, congratulations! You are the winner, the one who wins the biggest prize, comes in first. Everyone else is after that person. 
then that person must be the winner. And of course, usually there is only one winner. And if you win something, you would be setting. You could be setting a record. A record is when people write down something and they write down all these numbers, and then you beat it. So that means you're making a record. So that means you beat every single person who got seventy one, seventy two, seventy five, and now you're seventy six. Is the world record, and we might have heard of this series of books called the Guinness Book of World Records, which is all the people who did the most, or fastest, or smallest, or biggest, or Best of something, they would be breaking the record. Let's talk about what is going on with the women.、Oh, yeah. The same is true for the 2020 women's winner with 48.5. Okay, so I wasn't too far off with that women's guess.、Mm -hmm. Nathan's hot dog eating contest is a must see on the 4th of July. I would recommend maybe. Just like look it up on YouTube because、okay. even though it might be super gross, it is a must see. It is very interesting, and if there is something out there, probably a movie, a television show, or maybe an amazing place in the world, a, a wonderful natural landscape, or something like that. If someone says you have to go there, it's amazing. If you don't go there, you will feel you made a mistake. Then that place, that movie, that TV show is a must see.、Yeah. You must see it.、Yeah. Okay, that's basically where the expression comes from. We also might say about a book or something. It's a must read. Oh yeah. You really must read this book. And occasionally you might say, "Oh, that restaurant is a must eat、yeah. for that dish," but not as commonly.、Yeah. Must see or must read、mm -hmm. for entertainment and things like that. It just means you gotta see it. It's incredible, exciting. So there you go. The women are at forty-eight point five, and I bad, know that、bad. Joey Chestnut is the man with seventy-six. I think the women's number will be moving up faster. They'll be training. I think women are just getting into this because women are smarter than men. But they're deciding to do it now, and I think pretty soon we'll see women up in the fifty, maybe the sixty number. If you get a chance around July fourth or just after to find it online, check it out. You won't regret it, and you also. Might never watch it again, or you might never eat another <laughs> hot dog. It's true too. If you want to go on a diet, watch this because yes, hot dogs will be off the menu、Forever. for a while at least. Thanks for joining us, guys. Be careful. Always chew your food at least twenty-five times、exactly. before you swallow. Exactly, it's so important. And we'll see you back here very soon. Until then. Have a hot dog, but eat it slowly, please. Have a hot dog summer.、Mm. The contest is from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Both men and women take part. They try to eat as many hot dogs as they can in 10 minutes. The contestants must eat not only the hot dogs but also the buns. So. They have water on hand to help the food slide down their throats. The 2021 men's winner has the record with 76 hot dogs. The same is true for the 2020 women's winner with 48.5. Nathan's hot dog eating contest is a must-see on the 4th of July. Hello, I'm Tina. 我们来看这一课的重点单词。第一个 ，bun，bun， bun, 名词，供一人食用的长形或圆形面包。The hamburger buns are burnt. 这个汉堡的面包烤焦了。Burnt 就是烧焦的。下一个单词 ，throat，throat， throat, 名词，喉咙。He cleared his throat before he sang. 他唱歌前清了清喉咙。下一个单词 winner, winner 名词，获胜者，赢家。What is the prize for the winner? 获胜者的奖品是什么？最后一个单词 record, record 名词，记录。
最高纪录。Mike set a new record in the high jump. Mike 创造了跳高的新纪录。High jump 就是跳高。接着我们来看重点文法。第一个 ，eat as many hot dogs as they can， 尽可能吃下最多的热狗。As 什么 ？As somebody can 表示尽某人所能去做某件事情。其中 many 加复数名词也可以用 much 加不可数名词来代替。我们先来看看使用 many 的例句。Maggie invited as many friends as she could to her party. Maggie 尽可能多邀请朋友来参加她的派对。我们再来看看使用 much 的例句。I try to drink as much water as I can. 我试着尽可能多喝一点水。下一个文法 ，on hand， 在手边，在旁边。注意这个用法中的 hand 习惯用单数哦。我们来看看这个例句 ：We have lots of tools on hand to fix those machines。我们手边有许多工具来修理那些机器。最后一个文法 ，slide down， 滑入，滑下。slide 是使滑动、滑落的意思。它的三态是 slide, slide, slide。我们来看看这个例句。I love the feeling of cool water sliding down my throat on a hot summer day。在炎炎夏日，我喜爱清凉的水划过喉咙的感觉。以上就是这一课的重点单词跟文法。我们下一课再见，拜拜。Jae Art Museum has a unique old building. It was originally a branch of the Taiwan Tobacco and Liquor Corporation, designed by Japanese architect Sutajiro Umezawa. Sutajiro Umezawa came to Taiwan in 1911. During his stay in Taiwan, he designed many buildings that still have a high historic value now. At that time. His architectural style was mainly based on Art Deco, a style of visual arts, and his designs for architecture include eclecticism, early modernism, and so on. There are many places where you can see Sutajiro Umezawa's work. Other examples include Japanese colonial time Tainan Police Agency and the Songshan Tobacco Factory. These two places are now the Tainan Art Museum Building One and the Songshan Cultural and Creative Park. Hayashi Department Store, a famous historic site in Tainan, is also his masterpiece. Sutajiro Umezawa's dedication to Taiwan was very brilliant. His work set a major record in Taiwan's architectural development.